deleted the tweet, apologized, and pulled it down. Although I've spent this morning investigating what happened. And this morning, I asked for Rick Tyler's resignation. I had made clear in this campaign that we will conduct this campaign with the very highest standards of integrity. That has been how we've conducted it from day one. It is why when other campaigns attack us personally, impugn my integrity or my character, I don't respond in kind. None of you have heard me throw the kind of insults at Marco Rubio that he throws at me every single day. If other candidates choose to go into the gutter, we will not do the same. Rick Tyler's a good man. This was a, a grave error of judgment. It turned out the news story he sent around was false, but I'll tell you, even if it was true, we are not a campaign that is going to question the faith of another candidate. Even if it was true, our campaign should not have sent it. That's why I've asked for Rick Tyler's resignation, because the standards of conduct in this campaign have been made absolutely clear for every member of the campaign. And listen, I understand that Marco's campaign team believes it's politically advantageous to try to distract the topic from his own record. And they have a long record they've earned in South Carolina of engaging in this kind of trickery and impugning the integrity of whoever their opponent is to distract the attention. We are going to stay focused on issues and substance and record. Because I think that's what the American people want. I think that's what they deserve. And that's what they're going to get. This campaign is about turning this country around, bringing back jobs and economic growth, and protecting the constitutional rights. Did you talk? Have you